Yeah, you got you guys know why that's happening right there? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of uh I don't put in my drain plug. Yeah, that's actually twice I've done that in this last week. Just gonna let that Yeah, it'll fix it. Yeah, there it is. Alright, it'll fix itself. It's kinda like when you're on the very end of your last stream when you're like about to go to bed. Whatever. <laughs> Launching the boat here by myself is kind of a task. Um, this is a lake that I found a while ago. I thought it might be a little bit muddy, um, mainly because they had three inches of rain up here in North Texas while I was out in East Texas. So I thought, you know, let's go get a full scent. I'm trying to learn how to fish. A different kind of water in muddy water right now is like, I'm really trying to learn it. I know the last couple of videos you guys have seen me fish strictly, I mean, starting to catch fish in muddy water, which I used to have no confidence in muddy water. So I, I want to learn how to fish really deep clean water, really shallow muddy water, which sounds crazy like but I don't, it really actually doesn't look that bad to be to be to be blunt i don't know what the water temp is and a lot of the times in these videos you guys don't even realize it but think about this for a sec every one of these videos that i've really posted over the last four years i never really fished the same lake twice in a row i usually fish one lake and i go to a different lake and a different lake and a different lake and a different lake i think that causes you to be a decent fisherman but now that i'm actually putting my, my mindset towards like an actual goal like an intended goal i think i think i might become just a tad bit better I gotta have a goal in life, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Goal, goal number one should have been put the boat plug in today, but I didn't do that for some reason. I know there might be some of y'all who are actually kind of worried about this whole this whole virus deal. Um, on a good note, fishing is literally quarantining yourself and in, outside. I, guess. I mean, I, I'm not I'm not the type that's gonna sit inside all day, and I also think that a lot of it's I don't know, it's weird. And I'm, I'm not really, I, I take it with a grain of salt, to be honest with you. Whatever the media says, I just kind of literally take it with a grain of salt. I think everything's like damn near political nowadays and it's whatever. But do take precautions, all that kind of good stuff. Do what they do tell you and we'll be, we'll be fine. But you know what? Fishing is legitimately my way of quarantining myself. I think it's the safest way. I mean, I'm here at the boat ramp. There's one other person at this, literally one person here. And I probably won't talk to that person. I'm just going to go out here and I'm going to go do a little bit of a dangle. But we did come up with these for all you people who are going to be dangling. Yes, that is right. If you're going to be dangling here soon, you might want to take a gander. This is actually mine. The Lunkers TV edition. How do, how do I get this damn camera to focus? There we go. There you go. Here we go. I'm going to also be very blunt with you guys. These are very, very, very limited. And my butt is going to get soaking wet if I sit on this carpet. Anyway, here we go. It is not a mystery tackle box. There's nothing like that. Is this a Guggen Squad related thing? Every single one of my... Well, every single one of us made up our own. So this is the Lunkers TV Edition Signature Bundle. This is what comes inside of it. This is what I think is going to work this time of the year. This is pretty much everything I would use, uh, color-wise and everything. So in this 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 month, or not this month, but this quarters, I don't really know how these are going to work. They're our first time doing them. So they're very, very limited quantity. A little juicy finesse jig, 3 16 ounce. This is a black and blue. So that, that's, that one's going to come in it. See if I can just kind of zoom in for you guys a little bit. I'm not really good on this camera. I don't that autofocus stuff here we go so there you go yeah you got the little little juicy jig that'll come with it and then i actually uh put in there watermelon red crack and crawls those will come with them and then one of my favorite color bandito bugs the uh the natural the natural bandito bugs will come in it and then you're gonna want one of these this is one of my favorite color grande recons i mean it's really 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 this is a really good bait it really is um so that comes in it as well i mean look at that thing this one's called the cosmo shad so you get one of those and then of course you're gonna get one of the best clutches ever made color wise um this one is uh it's it's one of rackley's favorites as well but it's cash crawl so th this one's also going to come out this is the the old banger this is the color i made up this is mondo shad so that'll be in the box and then of course a lunker log this is green pumpkin six inch lunker log and then a a big old trench hog a blue baby and then you guys will get a lunkers tv signed sticker like that and then uh yeah that's pretty much it so, so me and the guys have never done anything like this. Uh, we decided to put together boxes. Every single Guggen has done a, their own separate box. It's only Guggen Squad related products and the stuff that we would use them that's actually some of our favorite stuff. Uh, they're gonna rotate for month or maybe quarterly. We've never done this, we have no idea, but you save like 10 to 15% on everything. Anyway, if you guys are interested in them, they're, they're on pre-order right now and there's not very many of them that are gonna be available. They'll be linked to the very top of the description. I know there's some of you guys who are trying to save money at this time, so don't go ahead and buy them. But if you're just gonna go out fishing, you're looking for new stuff and you're not really too concerned about this whole thing that's going on, on, then here's an opportunity for you to get a whole bunch of baits that we love and you get to save save them on a discount so there's that it's not it's not a it's not a monthly subscription box this is like right now as of now it's literally a one-time thing it's the Guggen takeover box so oops I'm gonna rig some of this stuff up do I know what I'm gonna do today no 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 water temps are sitting at 59 3 Okay, so these we should have some pre-spawn fish here. We should have some pre-spawn fish as I, I, I kind of cruise on over to where we're going to be going as we come in here. Uh, I, 
It might be just a moving bait day. On a good note, they should be munching. <laughs> I guess. But it's, it's kind of crazy if you guys think about it. Like I was telling you guys, I switch lakes so much. This lake is almost, actually it's probably around five hours, like literally five hours away from the lake that I fished in the last video. Last video, we I found water temps that were in the lower 70s. Like now I'm sitting in water temps that are 59. Now we're like way up here in North Texas, almost in Oklahoma. So, I mean, I'm really trying to bounce around to try to learn how to do this correctly. But 59 degrees, we should be able to catch them maybe on a moving bay. We got a little bit of wind coming in. I might flip a jig against some reeds or something. My pants are soaking wet, soaking wet out the gate, so. Let's see if we can go crack some big ones. It's 59 degrees. That's the water temp. That's what we're working with today. Oh. I feel like that should have been bit by now. I think. I'm only gonna do this for a second, flipping back behind the reeds. I never really do that too often because it, it doesn't really make too much sense for them to sit back in there. If all the bait's gonna be on the outer edge, they should be sitting on the outside, but I just gotta keep them in check. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Bad thing is if I get hooked up with one back there, I mean, there's not a lot to do through this. I don't know. They we're gonna be out here. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like on the edge of this stuff. Well, they should be on these edges right here. All these little points where these pencil reed things come out. They should just be chilling on them. You know, maybe they're not on these shorter, these little shorter reed patches. Maybe they're on the taller pencil reeds. Like, these have a way different diameter to them. These are just like, I think these are normal reeds and I think these other ones are pencil reeds. I don't really exactly know the name. These ones are like thin and these ones right here are more round. They could be sitting on these ones. Look at this little bastard. Yo, hey, what's up, buddy? What are you doing? Bloop. Right, you gotta be sitting out here. We're coming up on some really good stuff here. I, I, I thought I'd been fishing some good stuff, but we got like isolated reed heads. They're out here. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna flip on them. I'm gonna get on a moving bait and put the poles down for a little bit. Something's gotta happen. I just want shallow to look. I actually didn't see very many beds. Uh, I didn't even look like I even saw one bed, so don't really know what to say about that. But like these isolated ones, this thinned out stuff, should be some fish, I think. No way. That's it. Is that what we're gonna do today? That might be a big one. That is a big one. Oh my, oh, that is a big fish. Dude, that could be a giant, giant out the gate. Pull and drag, don't go in there. Oh, it's a big, it's a big. All right, that is a big, big. Boys and girls, that is a big. Keep your head down, keep your head down. Holy big. Keep your head down. Got my heart racing, baby girl. You got my heart racing. Oh my God. Oh my big. Oh my big. Oh my big. My heart is racing. Y'all, I just switched it up. Oh my big. My heart is racing right now. I just switched it up to a six inch black and blue long log. I've thrown everything from moving baits, bladed jigs, spinner baits, Jigs, flipping an Okeechobee, like everything. I've done everything. First flip. Oh my, that's a big. Oh, I'm all wrapped up. Come on now. Oh, I'm all wrapped up. I'm trying to get her in the box for a sec. Just gonna stick her in here. Oh. oh. Hey, 
Holy. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I started way over there probably, I don't know, probably half mile that way. I have flipped all these reeds. I've thrown moving baits when they should have eaten those. I've done everything. I literally have thrown everything on my on the deck of my boat except for my spinning rod and my underspin. And I was sitting there thinking, we're, sitting, we're at 59 and a half degrees. These fish should be eating. They're not eating. We need to go pawpaw mode. I'm not kidding y'all. That was my first flip on the edge of the reeds. And I lifted up after I flipped it. And I was like, that's, that's a little heavy. That is just a tad bit heavy. Oh, there we go. I feel a little bit better now. That's, we're going to get, let's, let's go ahead and just weigh this fish. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see how big she is. I'm going to say she's at least, at least six pounds, maybe. I don't know. Let me, I was pretty excited. Let's see. Let's, let's take another look at her. Her back's in there. Okay, baby girl. I'm about to let you go. Don't worry. I don't want to get my arm completely soaked. Calm yourself. I'm going to let you go. Come on. Come on. Come on, just let me grab her face. I mean, look at that. Uh, y'all, she's over. I think she might be over six. I don't know. I'm about to find out. She, oh yeah, she's almost seven. She's a six nine two. Six nine two. First fish of the day is almost seven pounds. She's a big. She's a big. And all right, baby, I'm gonna let you go. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Okay, you give me some indication what's going on here. There you go. A little head scratch. Okay, so there's a little bit of an indication. We had a little bit of a pink tail going on there. Uh, this is exactly what I caught her on. Six inch black and blue lunker log. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm probably gonna go back to where I, I had originally started after I fished around this little cut, kick on the engine, haul, haul all the way back up into this cut again, and then come refish all the area I fished with apparently the wrong stuff it may just be a pawpaw mode type day so there's another couple boats back up in here but i, I think i can out pawpaw some people now this thing has been catching some big fish lately caught all the big fish in mexico john's caught some some sevens i think you may have caught an eight this year already on this thing this thing is tore up look at that it's one of the best colors ever old black and blue Lunker logs. This thing just catches. I like this size. I used to only throw like the five inch stuff, but you know, this six inch is just, if you're going for bigs, why would you want to throw a smaller one? Look at that thing. It's a big old cheeseburger. Oh my. Y'all see that? I don't know what that looks like, but I'm just going to pretend like it's a big old fish. Yeah, I don't know if that's a fish. It's too big. That's a fish. That's another one. There we go. That's another good one. Damn, look at the bottom of this one. Look at the bottom of this one. It's a little male, man, he's all beat up. It's all beat up. I'm to get him back to the water fairly quick. I don't want to ruin this area. Old Papa Mode has been engaged. Last fish was 692. This one's probably a little two pounder, a little male. Yeah, 222, 222, 220, 222, 222. Okay. So we got a 222 and a 692. Two fish for a little over nine pounds. I know some of you guys probably just heard me listen to music. Whenever I start like going too quick here recently, I usually put in my earbuds and I just kind of like slow myself down because usually when you have to go pop on mode, you got to go slow. So I just flipped that on. So it kind of, I don't know. My mind races. I'm sure some of you guys have realized that if you watch this channel a long time. So I gotta find a way to make it not race so much. But I think if we slow down, I I mean we've been out here about an hour and a half. I think we, we just have to we just have to work slow. I think that's gonna be the ticket. It's another one. Yep. There we go. Okay, I've got it figured out a little bit, I think. Just a little bit. I'll let it sit there. Come on. Okay. It's not a little fat one. Black and blue. It's gonna help me out. Well, I mean, that could be a very small female, like a young female with the size of her mouth. I was old. I was always told that females have smaller mouths. So, I mean, it's hard to tell what what the bass is. What I have no idea. Oh, this one's two and a half pounder. Okay. Two five one. 
Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. All right. I was just joining a little bit of Luke Combs there. He's got he's got the voice. He's got a pretty good voice. Just gonna throw it out there. But that one came off this little point. Another one came off that little point. So maybe I mean, I'm telling you, these these little points might might be the ticket. I'll tell you guys right now, there's times like today where it seems like, like throwing a bandito bug may be too much moving. Like all those appendages going down like this. Sometimes you just got to like literally slow it down in what we call, as of now, pawpaw mode. It's, it's weird. The bandito bug is like the best bait ever built. Like I sincerely think so, but sometimes you just got to do something to throw something out there like a little log. Just, just to get them going. Is that a fish? Yep. Yep. Come on. He's wrapped up. Come on, he's wrapped. Oh, there we go. Got him. And there's a fatty right there. There we go. Okay. I just looked down and I said, man, it is getting colder as I go back and back and back farther. And it's 59.3 now. That one's going to help our cause. All right. That's probably one over three three and a half pounds around there oh man i just saw somebody run to the very back of this creek there's been a couple other boats that have come running back in here and then they turn around and they run back out i don't know if they're worried about the water clarity or what's going on okay fish number four and it's uh yeah it's over three pounds 326 happy with that one okay here we go well three oh man there's a little sorry about that little water on there a little 326 and there she goes it's been real slow I'm just gonna throw it out there. It's probably been, what time is it? What time is it? Yeah, it's probably been about 30 to 40 minutes since I've had a bite, so it's fine. We're just, we're looking for bigs anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we got, I don't even know what we got so far. Let's take a look. We got all together so far, we got 14.92, four, four fish. I'm sitting here looking around and I'll tell you guys, it's a bit different than the rest. I mean, up here, and this is like pretty much in Oklahoma. But if you guys look at all the trees, there's only a couple that have kind of blossomed. The water temp is 59. The air temp is probably like 50 right now. So we're on a cold front. I'm sitting like trying to piece this together. These fish, I mean, the next full moon will be crazy up here, I'm sure. This water doesn't look too bad either. But that is, that's probably why the bite's been a little slow. A second ago, I did actually just miss one. Oh, that one seemed pretty decent. Hey, I'm just gonna say, if I was a gambling man on this next little either point going in or out in the gut, I might could be pretty good. I haven't gone down that stretch that I started on yet. That was a, I started on like three hours ago. Um, I'm gonna hit that before I go. But we've been out here for a total of probably three and a half hours. So tells you anything about how quick the bite is. It's real fast. There he is. Come on, ah, oh, he's running towards me. Get in the boat, okay. There's number five. That's landed. Smallest one too. Wow, that one's got a really tiny mouth. Look at that thing. Damn, that was a tiny fish. Well, we already know which one's gonna have to go here in a minute, hopefully. This guy that's been driving around in this white boat is just ripping. He's been, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's testing his engine. I don't know if you guys can hear him in the background. Wow, this one, this one, I don't even know if it's gonna be, I mean, that's a tiny fish. One, five, four, all right. There we go. We know the tiny one that's going to be leaving. But we got five now that have hit the deck. I lost one earlier that was probably a bit bigger than 154. But let's see another back over here. This is the warmest water I have found so far. <clears throat> oh my God. I just had one chase it all the way out. Did you guys see that? Oh, he swiped at it and missed. See, it's, <laughs> I need music to slow me down. Damn. Chase it all the way out. There it is. There we go. That might have been the one that just missed. I don't know. I think he's gonna help us though. I think he's gonna help us though. It may not have been the one, but he definitely is gonna help. He's gonna get rid of that last one I just caught. Calm yourself. I'll throw you back in a second. I don't know if I like this little scale. I think I'm gonna get a different one. This one kind of sucks. 692. Definitely gonna replace this one right here. So we had a 154 last time, and now we have a, and we added almost a pound. 222. Cool. So now we're sitting at a total weight of 1715. I need to get rid of some of those little fish. I'd like to at least bust 20 today. So what do we got? We need to get rid of those two pounders. 
Or we could just crack, you know, another six or seven would be really nice. That would be nice. No. You're just wrapped up. That might help me. Oh, listen a little bit of Riley Green. Oh, I don't think that's gonna help me too. Ah, eh, might. Might get rid of one. Looks like another little male. Oh, I mean these fish are fat here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. I gotta get us a different one of these. This thing sucks. I don't recommend this one. I'm not saying it's the worst one, but it's not the greatest. Oh, we have two 222s? Oh, wow, we do. We have two 222s, okay. Well, let's see if this one will beat a 222. <laughs> we gotta get rid of a 222. Can you beat a 222? You can. Thank you. You beat a 222. There we go. This one's a little over two and a half pounds. All right, just slow playing it. No, I didn't get to fish this. I didn't want to ruin this. All right, this is it right here. We're about to link up with the giant. We're coming up on the good ends, the good end spots, I think. I have never hit it yet with this longer log, so. I got Riley Green playing in the background. Got my, I'm just kind of calm. Okay, 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 this is gonna be it right here. I'm telling you guys, we're about to link in with a big end. It's gonna happen. Somewhere down here, down through here. We got some clumps coming up, we got some points. I've not fished this yet with a longer log. Got Riley Green on in the background. Also notice I haven't caught anything off a clump yet. Oh. Tell me that thing just broke off in the very last. <laughs> oh my God. Well, let's take a little bit of, get out of here, bug. What are you doing? Let's take a little quick look at what we ended up with today. It wasn't a terrible, it was very, very slow. I'm gonna say that I fished exactly till five. I gave myself till five. So we fished for like five and a half hours and we ended up with a total weight of 17, five, nine. Uh, what do we have? We had a uh, 692. 266, 251, 326, 222. Especially we had maybe one small female and another female. But I don't think this lake is, uh, I don't think they moved back. All the fish that I caught were, well, near deeper water. To be, to be blown. All the reeds that I caught the big ones on, uh, or the decent ones on, were about eight foot reeds. So uh, all those smaller ones were, were back in about four to five foot. So maybe, maybe there's that move back here. Full moon here. I'm going to keep this lake in mind for the full moon. Uh, the water clarity would be pretty decent. So, But I hope you guys did enjoy this video over here on Lunkers TV. Make sure to go check out these boxes. These ones right here, everybody. These ones, yep. They'll be linked to the top of the description. They are now available, and there's a short, a limited amount of those. So uh, snag them while you can. I do love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a fishing episode. That's all we did, and that's what this channel's about, right? Rob, you need to go fishing. Well, here you go, baby. See you guys later.